everyone. So it's Viviana coming to you again with another grocery haul. Sorry I haven't posted in a while. It's been a rough few weeks. So yeah, we won't go into that. But anyway, um, I wanted to get on here and just show you what I bought this time around. I've bought a bunch of stuff in between um, from online. So I'll have to do another video on that sometime. Who knows when that'll be up. I don't know how to edit so sorry this is just going to be one long video so all right let's get into it i got some broccoli crowns some of these mission carb balance tortillas that i really like i did test my glucose and ketones and everything with them and they don't seem to affect it so that's a good thing and then i bought some Expensive ribeye. My goodness, beef is expensive these days. These are like micro thin cut, 0.72 pounds, like what, 14, 47 a pound, but it is what it is. So let's see what else. Oh, I've never had these palminis. So it was just staring at me from the aisle. I was like, well, let's try it out and see what I think. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to like it, but you never know. So four grams of carbs. And then I got this ham. I like this. It's the natural one. And let's see what else. Oh, I love my Vienna sausages and pancakes. If you follow me on Instagram, you see those old pancakes on there. And I got some cheap eggs because I'm going to test some recipes. Someone in town is needing um, some cupcakes for her wedding in November. And I used to own a candy business. Yeah, don't judge me. And so... I still have my food license and everything, and now it's legal to bake from home in Kentucky. So I think I'm going to use some cheap eggs to test the recipes. And then when the time comes to actually make the recipes, I'll use the uh, Pete and Jerry's I normally use. But for now, I'm using cheap eggs for testing. And let's see what else. Oh, I got a Spam Single. I've seen these. And I'm one of those people, I open up a can of Spam, I eat like two or three slices and then the rest just sits in the refrigerator for a long time and if until I finally throw it out because it's bad. So I thought I'd try these singles and I thought it would be good in like a little breakfast thing, you know, a little wrap. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I got some cocktail shrimp. Actually, I got two. One of them fell out of the bag, <laughs> oh my gosh, at the checkout and there was shrimp cocktail all over the floor. And so they had to take it off my little, you know, ticket. I felt really bad, but, you know, these things are slippery. It slipped right out of the bag. So after that, I learned my lesson. I tied that bag up so fast. <laughs> Let's see what else I got. Mushrooms, because when I have the spaghetti with um, that shirataki spaghetti I like with uh, the Rayo's sauce. And yes, it is pronounced Rayo's, not Rao's. I actually watched a video with Martha Stewart and the owner of Rayo's uh, what, 25, 30 years ago? Yeah, I'm that old. And um, it's Rayo's. And so, yeah, mushroom stems and pieces. I just get got the cheap stuff. And what else? Uh, oh, this looked really good. I'm really interested to try this. Queso fresco and jalapeno turkey patties. I'm not big on ground turkey. I'm not one of those Let's go out and have a turkey burger or anything like that. I don't even make them at home, but you put queso fresco and jalapeno in there. I'm all over it. Um, let's see. 220 calories, 13 grams of fat, 5 saturated fat. Not worried about all that. 600 sodium, 2 carbs, 0 sugar. So we'll see how these are. I'll put it on my Instagram if I like it or not. And then I've got some tilapia, and this is uh, responsibly farm-raised. And I have a list I keep on my phone with um, all of the safe, quote-unquote, places to get um, tilapia from, what countries. And this is from Honduras, and Honduras is one of those countries that it's okay. I think you want to stay away from tilapia that's farmed in Asia because they just let their fish swim around in all kinds of crap, literally. It's pretty gross. So if you can, um, I'll put the information below on what countries it's safe to get tilapia from. That way you know, but I keep it on my phone that way whenever I'm out and about, I don't have to memorize 
where the tilapia is safe from. I just look at my little note section on my phone and I'll know. Uh, I got some coconut cream. I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator, upside down, do all that, so that way I can get the actual cream. And um, I got one of these large cast iron pans. I, I'm gonna try cooking this in there. I've never had a cast iron pan. I know they're a pain in the butt sometimes because you have to, you know, season them and do all that, but we'll see how it goes. But I would actually ordered this from walmart.com. Um, by the way, all my groceries are from Walmart, but this pan I got a couple of weeks ago from and had it shipped uh, to me. Along with this, it's silicone. I was trying to do like some kind of silicone to put around this without having to buy the the little thing that goes over this. I was trying to, you know, get something that was like that size that I can kind of use. No, this is how big it came. I guess I should have looked at the measurements. So I'm still trying to decide if I want to keep it or not. I guess it's good to put on your counter and put like hot pans on, so I may keep it. Uh, anyway, I think that is it for this haul. It was a, a little mini one. I just ran out of easy, quick things to make. And I, you know, when you're on keto, you need to just have it together and have something ready because when you're hungry, you're hungry and you want to eat. So anyway, I hope I will do a video soon where I actually show my face. I actually got my hair colored finally and um so i'll do like a catch-up video on where i'm at i've lost uh 15.4 pounds so far and um i will show you my face now but i'm all sweaty and hot from going to walmart and i have no makeup on so you know how that goes so anyway that is it don't forget to subscribe like do all those good things and I ain't gonna promise anything because I know how life goes, but I will try to do a video soon because I've got other things I need to do uh, a catch up on that I got from the great low carb bread company or something and other things like that. So, and I'd like to start doing recipes one of these days. Anyway, I hope y'all are doing well. Stay safe out there. I will talk to you later. Bye.